everybody welcome back to another video the t on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hey welcome and thank you for joining us to my tribe and family at large fam y'all know what time it is welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video y'all know i'm always plugging our thursday night live stream listen you don't want to miss the thursday night live stream this is where we go from healing to hope to boldness. This is where we come and get the meat of the matter, how we go about this thing called healing. All right. So listen, you don't want to miss the Thursday night live stream. And every time, and this 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd love to see you here. Make sure you turn your notification bells on. So whenever we drop a video or whenever I go live on the channel, you'll get that notification, all right? So every time I drop a video on the channel, y'all know what time it is, fam. Look, the goal of the day is always 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. This helps us get the information out, the content pushed out through the YouTube algorithm. Yes, the algorithm. Yes, indeed. Listen, just smash that like button for me. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. If you rock, switch it, girl. Hit that like button. All right, y'all. Thank you. And while you're hitting it, if you're not a uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. All right. All right, y'all. Let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to get right into it. Um, and I'm addressing questions and uh, emails that I'm receiving. Okay, so this is another one of those uh, emails and questions that I see in the content across all of my, uh, in the comment sections, across all of my platforms, people are asking. So I'm going to go ahead and address this question. And so basically what, um, one of the major questions that uh, I'm being asked is, okay, so if the narcissist doesn't love the new supply, and, you know, they don't change. When is it that the new supply starts to experience the same thing that I did? You know, because basically it's looking like, you know, that, you know, they're, they live in their best life and the narcissist has, you know, look like they've changed for this individual. So when is it, you know, when does the narcissist actually start to abuse, you know, the new supply? So I kind of want to just, um, every narcissist is different. First of all, let me just say that. Every narcissist is different. They all have very low boredom thresholds, but I'm going to give you some indicators, okay? I'm going I'm to I'm actually share with you how this actually goes down. So listen up. Now, with every narcissist being different, they all can have different uh, low boredom thresholds. Some of them it might be. Some narcissists are so... Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're so far on the other end of the spectrum that, you know, their low, their low boredom threshold may be actually, you know, a month, you know, it might be six weeks, but it varies from narcissist to narcissist, but generally speaking, okay, whenever a narcissist gets with a new supply, you have to allow time for the love bomb, okay, so the love bomb is going to go typically uh, anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. Cause that's about all they have, you know, now there are exceptional cases where some people say the love bomb probably went on for maybe several months. Uh, usually in these cases, that is because the, the narcissist probably was not there with them. It could have been a long distance relationship. It could have been something where it was just, you know, the, the situation was a little bit different. I know y'all going to testify in the comments below, but you have to have to, uh, allow time for the love bomb, right? And then after the love bomb, things start to settle. A little bit so you know you got about you got about eight to twelve weeks of the love bomb now this is on the initial for the new supply now when they're coming back the love bomb doesn't last that long because the narcissist doesn't have that to give to you but when we're talking about the narcissist actually being done you know actually okay they have now started the devaluation and the abuse of the new supply uh, most of the time, that is going to start right after the love bomb. Now, in some circumstances, usually once they hit that three mark month, I mean that three mark, a uh, three month mark. Let me get that right. The three month mark. The narcissist is tired of the new supply. They're over it. You know, 
not going to say anything because if this new supply is presenting as like grade A, they have to stay somewhat focused, especially if they've married the new supply. So they have to stay somewhat focused, but they're always going to be on the back end trying to re-engage old supply. But the answer to the question as far as when does the narcissist begin to abuse the new supply most narcissists are going to start that abuse. Well, you know, love bomb is actually abuse. But, you know, sometimes we don't see the love bomb as abuse. But it is actually considered a form of abuse. But the devaluation of the new supply typically comes at about... Um, it, it most of the time, generally, it's going to be within three to four months. You're going to see this new supply showing up, looking tired, busted. You know, you're going to see this new supply possibly showing up alone. You know, the narcissist is not accompanying accompanying the new supplier wherever they may be going or whatever because the narcissist especially if they marry them they don't feel like they have to they've already gotten the new supply they the new supply has already bought the lie and so the narcissist is like chick, it, kicking back chilling like you know what i already got this this person is stupid you know they basically fell for the mask or whatever and so this is you know i don't have to try anymore so the new supply will start to feel that that, you know, typically within the first three to four months. Now, what they are going to do is they're going to ignore it, right? They're going to ignore it just like you and I did because the narcissist comes back with that positive intermittent reinforcement, you know, telling you kind things about yourself, you uh, telling you, you know, just maybe buying you something to just kind of get you over the, you know, like, oh, I just feel like something has changed here. They're going to come in with that positive intermittent reinforcement. Why? That's important because that's what they use to actually keep you in that space where they can abuse you and use you. But baby, let me tell you something. Once they hit that three to four month mark, and sometimes it's out to six, and that's usually extenuating circumstances, that narcissist has got that new supply rocking and reeling, baby. And I don't care if they have married them. I don't care if they have married the narcissist. I don't care if they're just in a commitment or whatever. It does not matter. That narcissist is going to abuse that new supply within said time. Now, mind you, every narcissist is different. Now, I'm, I'm making a generalization as to what my experience has been and those that I've seen on my different platforms. And then sometimes... It, the, it's it, sometimes it can be right away. There are situations where the new supply can be abused, especially if the new supply has married the narcissist. A lot of times in those instances, the new supply, once they get married to that narcissist on the wedding night, I have heard on the wedding night, that narcissist started in with their nonsense. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So when you see, you know, the new supply and they're posting up and that new supply got a plastic grin on their face, uh, you know, uh, that's not real. Mm -mm. You know, something's wrong. Something is going on right there. And, and of course, because the new supply don't want to look like a fool to everybody else, they play the game. You know, but that narcissist at about three months in, three to four months in, they can't hold it together. And if y'all remember back when you were with the narcissist, the narcissist started the little snide remarks. You know, they had those little snide remarks going on sometimes even in the love bomb. You know, if something kind of went awry or, you know, y'all kind of had a different conversation or whatever, you picked up the, you picked up some of the little sarcasm in the love bomb. You know what I'm saying? So when we're talking about, how these birds get down. You know, these birds are not, uh, this new supply is not having a fun time with the narcissist. And so when you're talking about in in uh, terms of time frame, time frame is about three to four months before they start in with the full blown abuse. Um, so if you're, I, I don't encourage you to watch their social media, but if you are,
You know, you're going to see some real different stuff happening. You will possibly see the new supply go ghost on social media or start, you know, posting up uh, more posts of herself or his self without the narcissist, perhaps both of them going silent on social media, or you'll see their pages go private, you know, uh, a lot of times because they don't, whereas before they were posting up to the world, but now their pages are private. Why? Because they don't want you to see what's going on, you know, so it's not a, it, it, it's not a fun time for the new supply. You know, the new supply got a good, the narcissist is going to give that new supply about a good hot 90 days, maybe 120 days, maybe, you know, right at that four month mark. Uh, some, some of uh, the new supply got six months, but you can bet your bottom dollar, baby, after they marry that bird, that bird is going to start up with the abuse on a whole nother level. Why? Because they can. You've already bought the lie. They sold it. You bought it. You know what I'm saying? And there it is. I know y'all gonna testify in the comments below. Listen, make sure you all send this information to someone that can use this information. And of course, uh, get it out to the masses, all right? Take really good care of yourselves, family. And I will see you all on the next video. I love you all. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.